Hello everyone and welcome YouTube to another MTR Fab video. This is MTR. Um, this will be number lucky number 13 and in lucky number 13 we're going to cover some RC basics. And when I say basics I mean um, this is pretty affordable RC equipment. Um, it's a little more expensive than it used to be. I just went and looked for these and they're running around 68 bucks or so on eBay and when you buy this um, fly sky uh, transmitter it comes with a little receiver and it's you can see it right here and that's just a six channel standard receiver uh, this is what we're going to actually get to operate our RC lawnmower and so I've got a little bit of a display for you guys here and what I'm going to show you is uh, how this operates and how I've determined what channels I'd like to use and so I'm actually going to show you, this is a rough drawing of the stick layout on this remote. And it represents these sticks, these two knobs, and that's it. And what you'll see is channel 1 is left to right on the right stick. Channel 2 is front to back on the right stick. Channels 3 and 4 are the left stick, and you can see them drawn there. And those are the channels that I'm concerned with right now. I want to operate this lawnmower using what Sabretooth calls, uh, well, it's, it's using differential drive. And so I've configured the Sabretooth with these settings. Now there's a dip switch on the Sabretooth, and we'll show you when we go down there. But this is uh, current dip switch settings, and the dark spot is where the dip switches are. Um, so you basically it goes you know off on off on off on and so I've written that down here and these are what the features mean so because uh, one and two it just tells me they need to be off and on that's what Sabretooth says to be in RC mode but three I can pick if it's off it's on battery if it's on it's on power supply so you notice that number three is off and that's because it's on battery. Number four, we want to run it in mixed mode, not independent. And so number four is on, and that's mixed. And so all these are, are explained in the literature for the saber tooth. Now, we're going to control the, the wheelchair motors using servo signals. And we're going to use S1 and S2 terminals on the Sabretooth. Now, these are standard wiring for these servos. And you can see, I want to run the mower on one stick. And I want to use the right stick because it's self-centering. So if you see, this stick is a lot like the joystick that is uh, the control for a handicap scooter right it, it's that's what they run it with they run it with one stick and it's a differential drive unit so when you push forward dead center you get the same power delivery to the left and right motors in the forward direction if you let go it springs back to center position if you notice this left stick stays in the position I set it so this is designed for like a helicopter or um, a plane I suppose with I don't know much about those but but basically you set your throttle and it's just going to kind of cruise there. We want to center because we want to be able to go forward and backwards. And so center position is zero. No throttle anywhere. If you push off to the right or the left, you're going to move really just one motor until you get all the way to one function. And I think it will transition over to controlling both motors in opposite directions. But either way, we're controlling off stick one. Stick 1 is channel 1 and 2. We're going to show you how channel 1 and 2 work here on the bench with some servos. We're not going to use the servos, but I'm going to display those signals for you so you can see how this works. So this, for people who don't know, uh, you know, I may be telling people a lot of things they already know, but this is a, uh, a Beck, a battery elimination circuit. Uh, this would, takes this 6S battery and drops it down to 5 volts. And 5 volts is what this receiver wants. Well, I'm just showing you this for bench purposes. 
the saber tooth is actually going to power this. But for displaying this, we're going to show you up here on the bench. And for that, I'll need two hands for a split second. All right, everything's plugged in, but if you notice, there's no power light on there. Well, so I turned the transmitter on, and now I get a power light over here. Now what I want to show you is that these two sticks, there's nothing going on on the left one, and we got movement on the servos on the right one. So those are the channels that I'm going to use to control my lawnmower. Now I have to get the signals from the receiver, which I want to remotely mount. Like I told you guys in the last video, I want to mount it up as high and away from magnetic, you know, electromagnetic inf interference that it may be susceptible to anywhere near those motors or the driver. I just want to be clear that the servos in this Beck kit are not needed in this application. So we're going to get rid of those. All right, we downstairs now. I want you all to see Get this guy all plugged in. I described before the saber tooth. I pulled it out because these wires are short enough already, and I'm gonna have to splice them. This is just for a test, and so they're in here. All the wiring is in there, and I'm gonna turn this guy on. And as you saw, you had a little status light there. Actually, let me take that away, and you can see that's on. And if I, you always should turn your transmitter on first, but I have that on now. And if you look, you can hear the motors. I've got no movement because I've got them in neutral. Now I'm going to click them into gear here. And these things freewheel. It's good to know when you need to move it around, but they're under here. You guys are going to have to excuse the water pump. But now you can see I got forward stick movement, forward stick wheel movement, I got reverse stick movement, I got reverse. If I turn a stick to the left, the left wheel moves forward, the right wheel moves backwards. If I move the stick to the right, the right wheel moves forwards, the left wheel moves backwards. So we're all set. Now, if any of these were going in the wrong direction, which one of them were, was, and I didn't share it with you guys off camera, but there's a way in the remote to just reverse the input um, and, and make it spin the opposite direction. So I was able to do that, um, and that's what you got. I want to show you guys that, that set of dip switches that I was talking about upstairs. Those are the dip switches right there on the saber tooth. And then I want to talk about why, you know, this this used to be a more affordable RC system. I don't know as if I'd go this route at the cost that it is today. I think there are probably better options to do this, but I'm not going to recommend it. I, I do recommend using this because it works, it's affordable, and it's effective. So it it's probably the bottom of the barrel solution for me. I've seen other guys use uh, more affordable transmitters, but I like the features that this has to offer. So, I just wanted to share that brief test with you guys, show you that it all works. Um, you know, I, I've got some kinks to work out, and we'll share with that with next week. But I'm going to roll on forward as far as the video this week. This is it, guys. Uh, I hope you like what you see. There's definitely progress. We could put this on the ground and drive it around now. Um, we're not going to quite yet. We've got some more stuff to do. That's a surprise for next week. Please check the channel out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you like this project. You know, uh, the interest helps a lot in the drive and the motivation. So, please, comment, share it. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week.